Let's take a look how we can use Docker and containers in, within code spaces. I haven't, or I don't have a particular uh, configuration here for code spaces, but by default, we'll have uh, Docker and the Docker runtime, the container runtime installed and readily available. Now, in this uh, repository that I have here, and this this is within a code space already. I'm not in in VS Code local. Uh, you can see here at the very bottom that uh, code spaces uh, it's uh, it's enabled. So that's uh, that's good. And um, now I want to um, I want to go ahead and run some some commands. So, but before I do that, let me show you the Docker file. Uh, this Docker file is the, at the root of the project. So one of the differences right now that we've seen is that this will run actually the the application. This is a, a going to be a Python application, a web application that is going to run. And you can see here that the entry point is uh, Ubicorn and it's going to run that and it's going to expose the port 8000. Okay, I mean, that's, that's perfectly fine. It's going to install some requirements. So I'm going to open the the configuration for uh, for code spaces, and I'm going to uh, look at container features. I am going to select the Azure CLI is there, but I want to um, actually go and use Docker uh, support, which is basically Docker in Docker. So I'm going to say OK, and uh, the latest is fine. And then it's going to ask me to rebuild. So I'm going to rebuild. It's going to take a second. We'll come back once it's done. All right, so that completed, and I'm going to open up a terminal. So I'm going to say create new terminal. I'm going to clear these. I'm going to uh, close these, uh, get it out of the way, uh, make make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And uh, I'm going to check if Docker is now available. So Docker is now available. I'm going to list. I'm going to list the images. Docker image ls. So there's nothing there, and I'm going to build a new one. So I'm going to say uh, docker build dash t and I'm going to say uh, local um, latest like that. So that's the name and I'm going to say dot for the context and uh, and that's it. So when I run this and it's going to start building our image. So we are within code spaces still. You can see there at the at the very uh, bottom right here, it's still code spaces. So that's uh, that's still going. We are seeing a lot of uh, downloads going on here. Uh, right now we're pulling uh, we're pulling uh, layers, although that finished and now we're going through the requirements that text that is installing all of the dependencies. And that is effectively uh, well done. Uh, it didn't uh, took that much. So now we're going to say Docker image LS and we can say our local uh, latest uh, is there, and you can see that image is running. So if we go and watch the uh, Docker file that we had here, uh, I'm gonna uh, close this one. Uh, it's going to run that uh, entry point, and the command is 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 that. So so that's that's effectively you're you're able to to run things. Uh, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to run this uh, Docker container and see how that works. So I'm running the docker run dash it local latest and that is now running locally. So that is a really, really nice way of like uh, making sure that you can uh, run uh, local and you can you can run docker, you can run locally, you can build and you can do perform uh, docker operations. Now, if you wanted to, you could say docker login and, you know, follow the prompts there and authenticate and make sure that uh, and make sure that that's uh, you know, it has existing credentials because somehow I have uh, I have that available. But it doesn't matter what the the thing here is that you are able to to run Docker commands and uh, all within that features. Now, one thing that changed was the dev container that JSON. I'm gonna close this out and let's take a look what changed. You can see Docker in Docker is there, so that's a feature, and you can set that so that if you're always going to run Docker file commands or Docker commands rather on the runtime, you can you can you can enable these and get that going.